Now, was it a free in freak incident or gross negligence that led to the gruesome killing of a worker at the Sea View Predator Park, Eklabecha? This is just one of the questions that David Solomon's family want answered. He was mauled by a Siberian tiger. Ronald Masinda has that story. A Google Tola put Ngoba. Thousand rand about a Vasnikeo. That is donation. Second, the Batabana Imal. At all. Abana Imal. Campal the Gokbaba Tengi say one of his Ranyan. Says Okas Babatini, a Faki Mali true Ipengi am Dong Nabalom Zimba. 1,000 rand is what the wife of the late David Solomon claims she received from his employers as a donation for his burial. Solomon's body was ripped apart by Jasper the Siberian tiger, a wild animal he knew since it was a cub at the Seaview Predator Park in Kabecha. Jasper came running towards the corner of his enclosure and Ronald yelled, Jasper, David, and as he yelled, Jasper cleared the fence. And um, David, in the meantime, had run ahead and tried to climb a fence, and the tiger took David off the fence and killed him. Um, Jasper then turned and ran right through the fence of the of the neighbouring enclosure because, and it was only afterwards he realised why, is because the female in that enclosure is in season, and Jasper, being an entire male, obviously wanted to get to the the girl. And when you are going to put that animal down, we want some of us to come and see. But some protesters are opposed to this version of events. After much deliberation, the owners of the game reserve allowed us access to the facility where the wild animals are in captivity. The tiger leaped effortlessly from the boarded fence to attack Solomon, who had been working here, for over 15 years. So, is the Seaview Predator Park secure enough to keep wild animals? When it happened, no. Um, like I say, we had no knowledge of the fact that Jasper had actually, well, I had no knowledge of the fact that Jasper had actually done it before. I can send you photos of the enclosure that he was, he, that he was in. We had made sure that it was very secure because we knew what we were putting in there. It's not the first time wild animals here have escaped the enclosure. Earlier this year, two hyenas got away after load shedding led to the electric fencing not working. One of the hyenas died after it was knocked by a car on the road. This zoologist believes wild animals shouldn't be confined in areas outside the environment. You know, when we're looking at endangered species, there are very few arguments for keeping them in captivity and breeding them in captivity. What we should really be doing, and I think that this is something that the COVID pandemic has taught us, is that we actually have to change our relationship with nature. Protesters are calling for Jasper the Tiger to be put down, while police and the Labour Department are also probing the savage attack. Ronald Masinda, Kabecha.